I normally only take pictures for repairs and uh, jobs that we try to fix after people do. Uh, so with that being said, we'll start. Uh, there's so many things. First of all, this with the overlap, uh, as far as not leaking, it probably wouldn't. But cosmetic, it looks horrible. The uh, top of the metal up here, if you notice when water comes down this right now, it's going underneath this hole and underneath this metal here, which puts it right back on top of this roof. We have metal showing right here, or shingle showing here. This should be tucked underneath of this piece here to keep water from coming down underneath and on this side here as well. We have shingles up underneath. There's no screws across the bottom at all. Uh, that's a definite wind damage factor. The cap is missing a bunch of screws. The sidewall, the sidewall is absolutely doing nothing due to the fact there's big gaping holes in the side of it, just like so, and it's not doing anything. It needs to either have siding or it has to be etched into the siding and then go over. So siding would have to go here. The bottom of the metal here is just like over there. Uh, there's shingles exposed here, which that over there could probably be cut and raised back up. Um, at the bottom of the metal, at the very bottom of the roof, there's absolutely no screws down here either. There's none at the very bottom. The piece over there is pieced in. Um, like I say, normally we only do pictures, but in this scenario, we're going to have to definitely, definitely do better than just pictures. This should have a drip edge on it. It's optional which keeps the water, it covers all these shingles and it keeps the water into the gutter. This cap should be cut with that drip edge that goes here instead of just leaving a sharp point for somebody to get cut on if they ever have to do any kind of maintenance to the house, as well as that over there. It should be cut at an angle. And it's not just for looks, it's also to keep kind of wind from grabbing that corner. Um, we have absolutely no drip edge. And I'm gonna keep using the word absolutely because there's so many things. Uh, this transition piece here would actually work. Um, this should be better screwed down. This screw's not holding anything. If you watch that metal, it moves up and down. This should have been screwed to the transition about five inches up. The biggest concern is this, the side wall. And then when we get towards the left side of the porch, we have the same, same thing on this side over here with the flashing. There's actually a hole here. You can see the roof underneath. There's, it's not even sealed. I'm not sure why they cut it the way they did. Uh, the side wall is not complete. The metal is chopped to pieces up top. We have shingles exposed. And no valley and very, very little screws. This part here, to keep from seeing this ugly shingle down on the ground, you, you have to actually cut this off and you run a piece of metal over top of this. That's option one. Or option two would be get a new piece of wood and re-trim re all this out to where you can't see the gaping holes in the roof. But, like I say, this could have been done better as well. These were supposed to be cut off as well. This isn't a finished product. This metal here, more than likely, is loose. And it is. There's nothing holding this down. The top, that should be cut dead center, just like this. And then that other cap has to come over top of this cap for that to even work. The side over here, same deal. We have laps, and that down there should be cut. That corner needs to be cut. We have a piece here, a piece here. It's almost like they ran out of metal. Um, but same thing here, we have shingles. We have water that comes off this roof. This should go underneath here, and this should be down. This piece should be up far enough to catch the water, because right now, it's on a downhill slope, so every bit of the water that comes off this roof goes inside this. The, uh, let me see if we can make it up the roof. I'm wearing boots today. I should have wore boots, but I did. We have, we have metal bent, which is only cosmetic. It wouldn't leak. Um, metal down there that's not completely screwed. We have shingles here. I'm not real sure the purpose of this, why it's like this, because obviously all the water that comes down this, this isn't even a valley. This, I'm not sure. This is a piece of their transition they used on the front porch. It's probably just the extra piece they had. But it should be a valley, because if not, the water goes back and forth. 
whatever water comes down this side, if it's bad enough, it'll go up underneath this and then hit over here. It's not even sealed. It's not screwed down. So any water that comes off this roof runs, especially right here, it kind of sloshes. It might make it to here before it actually comes back down the valley. And when it comes down the valley, it goes up underneath. Water and crap both roll downhill, and that's what it's doing. Oh, my goodness. The uh, cap. We have a little line somebody tried to draw and decided not to cut it. The cap is loose, which is dangerous because if a piece of this flies off, it could very well hurt somebody or kill somebody. And the reason it's up in there is because they didn't trim their second piece back there. Rather than taking a pair of snips and cutting that off and having the center, it's not even the center. This cap's going to have to be replaced completely. Uh, and this, oh goodness. Anyway, this piece should be out to here, and this piece is cut straight in a nice little line there. The lap's wrong on that one, but if you look with the lip on this one, it shouldn't be that. I'm afraid to walk on this metal, to be honest. I don't even know if it's secure, but I'm going to try it. Seems okay. This doesn't look like it's screwed down. It's, it's got a lot of play in the valley. It's just kind of, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then up here, you have shingles. This valley should be, or this cap should be way over top of this, and it's not. We have shingles showing right there. If you look, that is a piece of transition. Again, if you see the break, it's the same stuff they used on the front. Somebody just simply forgot the word of the valley. We're going to need some metal for sure. That metal's up in the air. Like I said, it's not even screwed down here. So we, we ran out of screws and we ran out of metal. That's a, that's a given. Okay, and then we have, you can't really see it in the video, but I'll try to go down that farther. But like I said, I didn't wear tennis shoes. But at the very bottom, there's no screws. There's absolutely no screws. And there's that word again, absolutely no screws. Uh, let me see. Bad day to wear my boots. Uh, if this chimney's not hooked up, this chimney is not safe at all. I don't know if it's even hooked up. Uh, as you can see, the mortar's gone. Down inside's bad. If this chimney's not hooked up, my recommendation before it falls and loses a brick and goes through our neighbor's uh, car window, I would simply remove the chimney. Because if you look here and here, it's just like Jenga. You pull one out, one falls, or these top ones overtake it. That car down there, home insurance is going to have to pay, or the house insurance is going to have to pay for that car. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to cut these, but water comes off of this, and it goes right here. All that water goes downhill. None of the chimneys even connected. This mortar is so bad that it should have never been talked about saving. This piece should be over top of this piece because water rolls downhill. If you look at this, the washer's on top. There's no washer underneath this metal, so when water comes down, it's just going down inside these screw holes all the way. And like I say, this chimney needs to be taken down. This chimney, it's just it needs going. Uh, and safety and, and also the neighbors in our cars. But anyway, the uh, flashing, we gave up on putting screws in it. If you watch it, we have a big hole. None of this is screwed down. This is none of this is screwed down. Um, this is on 610 Wortland Avenue in Wortland, Kentucky. Uh, and again, I normally would just take. I normally would just take pictures, but in this circumstance, it's just so far gone. I can't get to that, I don't think. I'm going to try, but they have a piece of transition instead of a piece of cap down there at the bottom, it seems to be. Uh, the customer mentioned the, the uh, company's name, which I'm not going to, but if she wants to post this, she can. But anyway, we have, or for further court records, rather, we have no screws at the bottom of the roof either. So I'm going to try to make my way to the bottom. We have metal dented up on top. None of this. I mean, none of this is right. On our cap, we have no screws. This piece, water rolls downhill again, guys. This right here should be underneath of this piece. But it's not. This piece should be over here because when water rolls down, it runs underneath this cap. And then it defeats the purpose of even having a cap here. Water rolls downhill, and this cap is 
on the bottom. Like I say again, if water comes down this or anything else, it runs here. There's no seal. There's nothing. And then it just continues down the roof. Okay. We have a piece of metal here. On our electric vents out back. We have no boot, anything. They make a thing called a zipper boot. It just doesn't have it. We have all kinds of shingles exposed. The dish, if it's not being used, needs to be removed. I'm afraid to stand on this metal, guys, to be honest, because nothing's been attached so far. Oh, my goodness. Okay, shingles is flashing from the ground. It looks good. But there's absolutely nothing here. The cap, this right here being pieced. I mean, you could probably live with that. Cosmetics, not that big of a deal, I guess. But um, this one piece is three pieces. That's one, two, and a third piece that goes underneath. Right here, that's over about a foot. Now this is the bad part. There's absolutely nothing there. I mean, it's just like, hey, you know, we're gonna let it run wherever the boot on the pipe is the same way. I'm gonna try to get close enough where you guys can see it. It's one moment, I'm gonna try to, try to get into it. I don't know that far. It's a simple rough really, it's only one story. But anyway, they screwed more off on the back, but over on that side, there's a bunch of screws missing. And it looks like there's a dent in the middle, and I'm hoping that's not a nail head. I'm not sure what they were doing over there, but if you look, there's three or four pieces of cap, and that's not even a cap. That's a that's something on top. We'll check it out when I get closer to it. Now we got to make it back up to the rough. There's no screws at the bottom. No screws at the bottom of the roof. This, they had the idea, right? This it really isn't that bad. I'm trying to zoom out. This isn't that bad. This isn't horrible. But it's still a big gap. This metal should have been cut here. And this cap should have came out to about right here. We'll cut short there. Like I say, there's that dreaded chimney in that poor little car. Um, I don't really critique people's work this bad, but y'all wanted to see what you got, so I'm showing you. I'm going to single show one. Down here yet again, water rolls downhill. Why would you take the metal and run it underneath? This is under. Not on, so all the water, you can tell there's already been water going underneath of it. Look at the dirt, that's from water. It comes down the roof. This piece, guys, goes on top of that piece. We're gonna try to make it to the bottom. There's no screws in that. The metal's lifted up because it's not flat properly at all. Now let's try to make it to the bottom. This piece here, I, I don't really know. I don't get it. I uh, don't know why we pieced that. I mean, it's such a small piece. Uh, not we, we didn't piece it. My guys didn't, but I'm with my guys when we work, and this is why. You get a worker that just wants paid. We try to slide down this roof without falling off of your old roof. Anyway, that guys is not even I don't know what that is that's it. that's what it is this is more the transition that they used for the valley on the front this isn't even screwed down we 